Hi, it's Grant Hiramini here with Studio Blue. The 2016 election was one of the most controversial elections in recent history. It was really important that you went out there and casted your vote. In 2014, less than 20% of college students voted. We talked to Richard Hertz, political science teacher here at Sonoma State, about the recent election. Why is political science important to you? To me, because it's helpful, I think, to inform younger people about our political system, make sure they vote, participate, even do things like run for office. What are some interesting trends about this election that no other election has ever had? Starting with the two most unpopular candidates to ever uh, run for president, that's a pretty good start. And we had a very interesting primary race, and interestingly, uh, millennials were really attracted to the oldest candidate in the race, Bernie Sanders, and had a lot of enthusiasm. What does this election say about young voters? It says that they have a real impact on the process. Uh, I've been a pollster for almost 30 years, and I've never seen public opinion shift as quickly as it has on that it has on two issues, uh, legalizing same-sex marriage and legalizing marijuana, and that's largely driven by millennials and younger people. So. They're really, uh, millennials are really starting to become part of the political process and really have a big impact on it. If you ask any class how many people subscribe to a newspaper, you know, if you're lucky, there'll be one person out of 68. And social media is how a lot of people get their information about politics, both through their news feeds and from comments uh, made on these stories there, as well as what their friends think. So it's a huge part. It gets more information out there, but it also gets more unvetted information out there. So it's easy to spread rumors that aren't true. But for the most part, anything that gets people more involved and in looking is a good thing. Why is this so important for young voters to register to vote? Because it's your license to complain. If you don't vote, you don't have a say in things, and then other people have more of a say than you do. So it's just really important that people participate. It's no good when you got 20 or 30 percent of the people making the decisions for everybody else. So voting's the one shot where everybody's equal and you got a chance to express your opinion. So it's really, really important that people vote. I think a lot of younger people feel that the political system is so complex uh, that there's nothing they can do about it. But that's really not true. Uh, activism starts from the ground up. If people are waiting for some great leader to come along and lead us to this place where we have a, a better political system, it's not going to happen. It really comes from the ground up with more people voting, more people attending meetings, uh, sponsoring uh, different pieces of legislation, uh, backing candidates, getting involved in themselves, even, like I said, even sitting on a city board or running for office. It's not that hard, and it really makes a difference there. Last night, Richard Hertz's political science class in the Sonoma State Star held a joint viewing party in International Hall, Room 104. Students came to watch the coming votes in each state and enjoyed food in a relaxed environment. We spoke to the students about their thoughts on the 2016 presidential election. I'm here with Jake Bowes, political science student here at Sonoma State. So Jake, how do you feel about this election night? It's pretty stressful. I think Trump's going to pull it out, though. He's going to win Florida, New Hampshire, and North Carolina, and Ohio. So you'd say Trump's your guy? He's my guy. Make America great again. I'm here with Travis Adams, comms major here at Sonoma State. So tell me, Travis, what do you think about this election night? It's a lot of energy, a lot of, uh, a lot of uneasy people, I feel like. Uh, a lot of people that don't really know how it's going to go down. I overheard a lot of people being uh, nervous in class, but... Uh, once we see the numbers pour in, it's actually a lot of people start to be, you know, a little more excited about the results. So it's good right now. I'm here with Marcella, comm student here at Sonoma State. So Marcella, tell me how you feel about this election night. Um, it's pretty exciting. Definitely different than any other election that we've had. I'm, I'm really curious to see what the results are going to be. How do you feel about the candidates themselves? Man, I plead the fifth. Um, I don't know. It's just I take what we get. I guess. That's where I'm at. Won't throw a fit? No, not, not so far, no. Awesome, all right. How do you feel about the candidates themselves, though? Um, they're okay. I obviously like one more than the other, but I'm going to keep that a secret. Probably a good idea. Yeah.